welcome to my channel Chibi Chibi Chef Inspire Japanese Cooking. Today I'd like to show you Japanese delicious oatmeal recipe. I'm gonna make three kinds of oatmeal risotto. The oatmeal risotto has been very popular in Japan for a while because it's very healthy, tasty, quick and cheap. I know that oatmeal is often cooked with some milk and sugar to make a sweet breakfast. So when I heard about this oatmeal risotto thing for the first time, Honestly, I thought it sounded kind of weird and gross but it became really popular in Japan as a great diet food and a lot of people said that it's so tasty so I give it a try and love it Now my American husband loves it too and we have it when we want to have some healthy food or when we need to cook something really quick It's also great for hangovers It's much tastier than you imagine and oatmeal is rich in fibers, protein, and other great nutrition. So please give it a try. Oatmeal! Meal! Trust me on this one. Many Japanese people are switching out oatmeal for rice, and I'm hearing a lot of benefits to it. The taste and consistency is very similar to rice, but the oatmeal is healthier for you. Today, I'm gonna cook three kinds of oatmeal risotto. But the base cooking method is the same for all three. First, add a cup of water in a small pot and add a half cup of oatmeal and cook until it boils over on high to medium heat. I like using these Quaker's old fashioned oats, so I usually buy the big box of it. That's the base risotto, but we still need to cook the oatmeal for another few minutes to get a nice sticky risotto texture and season the risotto. First risotto is dashi and a wasabi flavor risotto. So after boiling the water with the oatmeal in the pot, add one tablespoon of dashi powder and change it to low heat, then cook for another few minutes. Occasionally stir the risotto to keep it from burning in the pot. When the oatmeal becomes a soft texture you like, turn off the heat, then you have this dashi flavored risotto, but I like adding some seaweed and wasabi on the top. If you have sesame seeds, it's nice to add them on the risotto too. I think you can find those Asian ingredients at the Asian section of the major US grocery stores, but if you can't, I left the Amazon links to those in the description box, so please check it. Also mix well when you add the wasabi since it has a strong taste. You can add the wasabi while cooking the risotto too. Let's get to the next one. This one is with dashi soy sauce, another dashi flavored risotto but with a mild soy sauce taste so it's a little bit different. I used the homemade dashi soy sauce that I introduced in a previous video and it's very easy to make so please find the link to the video in the description box. After boiling the water and the oatmeal, add 2 tablespoons of dashi soy sauce and change it to low heat. But this time I added a fresh egg in the middle of the pot. To cook the egg, I gently whisk the egg white in a pot to mix with the risotto. And I added a piece of foil to cover the egg white, cooking the risotto for a few minutes. Please make sure to use a fresh egg to avoid having a stomach egg later on. This tastes similar to Japanese tamago kake gohan, which is rice with a raw egg and a soy sauce. In Japan, we can eat raw eggs, and it's one of the popular Japanese breakfasts. But here in the US, we don't eat raw eggs, so it's better to eat it in this way. For toppings, I added some green onions and a pinch of salt to bring out the flavor. The last one is chicken flavor egg risotto. After boiling the water and oatmeal, add 2 teaspoons of chicken stock powder and a beaten egg, and then change to low heat. I used this Asian chicken stock which is made from chicken but with ginger, garlic, scallion, etc. So it tastes different from the western chicken stock. It's very useful to cook Asian dishes so it's nice to have it at home if you like Asian foods. All of them are delicious and easy to cook so it can be your savory breakfast. You'll be surprised how the oatmeal becomes so savory by this cooking method so please give it a try. Thank you for watching and see you again. But 
ったね！